Okay, folks. I'm seriously angry. These uh, so-called scientists are going to kill you if you don't wake up. If they're able to uh, complete their nefarious plans, which I doubt. But if they are, they'll kill you. They coming up with all these schemes. I'm going to go over the schemes. This is on Bloomberg. I'm going to come up with these schemes. I'll explain how this will kill you. And then maybe you people wake up and uh, start relieving these people of their duties. Okay, uh, stocks aimed at slowing global warming drag on. Search researchers are pushing new ideas that some are calling last-ditch efforts to avoid the worst effects of climate change. Some proposals are uncontroversial, such as using charcoal to lock carbon into the soil or scattering carbon-absorbing gemstones. Uncontroversial? That's the most dangerous scheme, probably. Richard Branson, the billionaire chairman of Virgin Group, has offered a $25 million prize for the best solution in the field known as geoengineering. Other ideas cool plant have scientists worried about unintended consequences. Their proposals, untested at scale and uncertain costs to black sun's rays of airborne particles or see the oceans with carbon absorbing iron. They're even, that they're even being considered reveals both frustration over government inaction and skepticism and policy alone will solve the problem. Okay. I'm going to explain this to you. These maniacs are trying to kill you. If they're trying to suck carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, you will die if they succeed. Why? <laughs> it's a basic biological fact. Plants need carbon dioxide to photosynthesize. They have to have it. It's not an if. Richard Branson should be put into a mental hospital for the criminally insane. Along with any of these scientists that uh, do this stuff. Ironically, it's China that's going to save us because they uh, Trying to end it because they keep pumping it into the atmosphere. But, uh, that doesn't reassure me any. Smart Stones, based in Netherlands, is working with olivine, a yellow green mineral found abundantly in the Earth's crust. Once a favorite of Egyptian jewelry makers, olivine absorbs CO2 as it weathers. That is, to mine olivine, crush it, and scatter it over land. This is the most dangerous scheme. Because anybody who knows anything about science, which these scumbags don't, will tell you that plants need CO2. You probably suffocate because if we're if these maniacs were really able to get the CO2 out of the atmosphere, then there would be no uh phytoplankton in the ocean to produce oxygen. Which means you would probably suffocate before you would starve. If I'm wrong about that, then you would starve because there would be no plants to uh, produce food for you. I don't think it's actually feasible because the thing that pumps the most CO2 into the atmosphere is 
uh, volcanoes, and there's always many of those going on. We could not stop those no matter what we did. But uh, I'm hoping I'm right about that, because if I'm wrong, another finalist is Zurich Space Climb Works AG is developing mobile systems to capture CO2 in filters. Yes, is injected in the greenhouses to promote plant growth or use in carbonated drinks. Biochar also finalists takes waste wood from lumber mills and makes it at high temperatures to produce biochar, black compost like material that can added be added to the soil to improve its quality and productivity. Biochar also locks CO2 into soil for hundreds or thousands of years. For every pound of biochar added to the soil, about 1.5 pounds of CO2 is sequestered, the company said. Now they talk about schemes when they're going to pump shit into the atmosphere to block the sun. These are maniacs. These are insane lunatics, all right? They should be locked up in mental hospitals for the criminally insane. I'm going to repeat this. What is the main source of oxygen on this planet? The primary source of oxygen on this planet is ocean phytoplankton. It's ocean phytoplankton that scrub the atmosphere of CO2. Now, if you really want to do something about it, what you could do is go on a massive breeding program for ocean phytoplankton and then put it into the oceans. Because that would be a self-regulating system. Because what the phytoplankton do is they suck in, they take the CO2 that comes from rain and stuff and goes into the ocean. They absorb it produce little baby phytoplanktons, and eventually they die, and they go to the bottom of the ocean. This is how you wind up with these methane hydrates and stuff in the bottom of the ocean. And the point is that the phytoplankton lock in CO2, and they suck it right out of the atmosphere. And since it's a biological system, it would be self-regulating to the point where we wouldn't have to worry about it killing us. These maniacs are insane. They are trying to take CO2 from the atmosphere which we need to eat and to breathe. Let's say I don't really know whether we would suffocate first or starve first. Once the O2 starts drop, see, if you eliminate CO2, then you eliminate the O2 from the atmosphere. And if you eliminate that, of course, we suffocate. I don't know which would happen first. The surface plants would die off and we would... If we didn't suffocate first, we would starve. We'd probably suffocate first. You gotta wake up. These maniacs are trying to kill you. It's as simple as that. Climeworks AG is trying to kill you. Biochar Company is trying to kill you. Smart Stones, based in the Netherlands, is trying to kill you. Richard Branson is trying to kill you. These maniacs are trying to kill you. These maniacs are trying to kill you. They need to be locked up in mental hospitals for the criminally insane. I wouldn't have any problem with replenishing, like I said, the phytoplankton. 
Because that's a biological system. I hardly think it would be feasible, but... If you are determined to get some CO2 out of the atmosphere, that's the way to go. But these maniacs want to kill you. Virgin Group wants to kill you. They are trying to kill you. Uh, for 20 or 30 years, governments in the back of their minds have assumed mitigation is the way, main way forward, says Mark Maslin, the fellow at UK's Royal Geographic Society. Researchers now realize the planet needs other urgent ways of dealing with CO2. This maniac, Mark Maslin, wants to kill you. I don't care, I'm going to say it. They are trying to kill you. 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 If you know anything about basic biological science, you know that these scumbags are trying to kill you. They're trying to kill us all. The person who wrote this article is Louise Downing. I haven't even seen what this scheme is with the tiny blue bubbles. If you're looking for a car that drives you, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put this on hold for a minute. Uh, I'm just gonna say. You know, this is our facts of Mars. I ain't gonna do the video because some maybe be in trouble with YouTube. So, uh, people, they're trying to kill you. They want to kill. These are insane maniacs who want to kill seven billion people. If you don't wake the hell off, that might just succeed. Well, I think it's hardly feasible that they could. Scrub the atmosphere of CO2. They start spreading this shit. I'll tell you what. If I see some airplane dropping shit like that, uh, Alvin, that drops on my property, I'm opening fire. Because I will shoot back. To me, they better not drop it on my property. That's all I can say. I will open fire. This is disgusting. They want to kill you. Alright? They want to kill you. Of course, they're not going to drop it on people's houses. They do it out in the woods and stuff where you can't see. They want to kill you. 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 Black and low people. If you don't wake up, you're going to wind up starving or suffocating. 